Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the Beat Up Plan as we return to our African Riches Campaign, or our Merchant Republican Campaign, or our West African Campaign. We are doing a lot of new things in this campaign, that's for sure. So, before I am going to go around the business, I thought I would give you a little bit of a view across the world. I mean, I know people like that in general, and who am I to deny that then to you? And uh, I won't take this away from the time of the episode, so just consider this as a, a few extra minutes. And if you don't like that, well, then skip ahead, I would say. So we are, of course, here our little corner of the world with Mali and Africa now under our control. And Andalusia uh, still having some holdings in France, but he's definitely slowly getting pushed out, though. There is a um, peasant revolt over here, but all right. Uh, up into here, Scotland, are still considered the Picts by the way, it's Pictland still, has pushed south towards Northumberland and it is slowly being incorporated, actually quite already for a while, 50 years. But on the other hand, the King of Norway is definitely, uh, well, integrating this part, though I believe currently the Petty Kingdom of Mercia for some reason is attacking. I don't know exactly why this is. Is this is a defensive war? Or not? Hold on, let me just see here. Defending. In the Mercian Holy War for Ulster. Ulster. Um, why the heck is the King of Bavaria over here? Ulster. Is that this duchy? No, this is Moray, right? Ulster. Ulster? I don't know where Ulster lies. In the Holy War for Ulster. Don't know where it lies. Then again, I'm not sure if Norway can handle on this forever, because Norway isn't as powerful as it normally is. There is Saxony over here, which is Norse, still old by the, the Theodosiering, though, so the original Saxons. But the Saxons, yeah, they kind of lost their area, and there aren't too many Norse people around here in general, actually. It's been taken over by, currently, the Slavic religion. Sorry. Slavic. Which has a huge kingdom representing itself. Russia has been formed and it is gigantic. It's only the kingdom of Russia though, so there's a good chance it will stay. He does have a claim on the kingdom of Lithuania and their brothers, so I assume uh, that Russia will, at a certain point, will go for the kingdom of Lithuania. Um, will he be able to unite Slavic? religion? Well, I'm not sure. He doesn't hold Kiev, which is one of the problems. He doesn't hold Plok, which lies in Poland. And the other holy site, I believe, lies over here, which he definitely doesn't control. And the fifth one uh, is all the way down here. So, I don't know. He's large, but he isn't in control of the Slavic people. In the meantime, also, there is Sweden, who has uh, gone and made a huge gap into Finland and Denmark holding all of Lapland. Do you also hold that title, actually? No, you don't. You do hold the Filkarat. Because the Norse have uh, managed to re to change their faith, even though they've lost this holy site now. They don't have that one, so... And I think currently this lies in yeah Sweden, so... They once controlled three sides no longer. Then the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire is doing very well and for some reason has established the Kingdom of Trebizond. Has been established. It's a very little early in the, the ages, but alright. The Kingdom of Georgia is still there and I don't believe the Kingdom of Armenia has been established. No, this is part of the Kingdom of Trebizond at the moment. Kinda interesting. Or at least parts of it is. And this is the current Emperor of the Byzantine Empire, which uh, has been holding on to the titles since they were elected, and uh, they've held on to that title for a while. Alright. <clears throat> the Arabian Empire currently in a big-ass revolt. I like to see that. I like to see them a little weaker than they are, because the Yauzar, they scare them the heck out of me. But they're all Sunni. There is um, very little religious issues around here. Um, 
Abyssinia down here. Abyssinia, of course, former holders of uh, the uh, title of Africa, but he also had like a gigantic amount of wars. Which is probably because he's allied with, yeah, mm, the opposite. So he has to deal with all of that. Um, up here, the Hordes are doing quite well. Kotan is doing quite well, to be honest. And there's a Romuva Horde right now, which is quite interesting to see. Um, then down here, Hindu, as always, is wins wins it. Jan never wins which definitely means to me, if we're gonna play with Jade Dragon, I'm gonna play Jan. And I might just play on these islands over here. Under island campaign. Perhaps people will enjoy that. Well, I'll ask when we get to there. But what has interests me more is that the Empire has been formed and it has been formed by this gentleman very recently in 946 eight years ago. Um, well, actually... More or less seven years ago, because he formed it on the 22nd of December. But yeah, the AI has managed to establish an empire over here. The Deccan Empire, so... Wow. Normally they, they fail to do that. And he has a lot of kingdom titles, so... And only one county. I don't know how he can keep his... His vassals happy, because, to be fairly honest... Well... They're happy enough. I would expect a lot of them to say, like, hey, I want that bloody title. He desires the kingdom of Mastara, desires the kingdom of Telunglana, desires the Raya of... He desires so many things. By the way, this is a new portrait type. Not this type of portrait, but I've never seen him with this much of an under chin. But, uh, yeah, I assume that a lot of people here, they desire all these kingdoms that he has. So he either needs to destroy the titles, or he needs to give them away. Just follow Mali's example. Bengal, pretty strong. Currently a big old revolt here. Uh, Punjab has grown, which is interesting, because normally it is uh, right put over here that that wins it, but currently uh, this is Gujarat. Where, where is the kingdom up? Oh, there it is. Punjab has, uh, yeah, greatly established itself. And Sindh is currently Hindu, which I believe it starts out as Sunni. Yes, it does. But, uh, been re-established by a Hindu. So, um, anything else that we need to look across the world? Well, Italy is unfortunately going into Bavaria, which is kind of annoying. Uh, the Mormids still holding on to Pannonia and really weird parts. Uh, and this is also a bit of a weird one, Obutria. Yeah, the border gore is, as usual, quite large. By the way, also, no a thing to note, in the Kingdom of... Sorry. Gonna try. Britoniad has been formed, which is probably horrible because I don't know how to speak well. English. But uh, yes, the Kingdom of Wales has been formed. Woohoo! I like to see that. No England, but there is a Scotland, there is a Wales. Now I'm waiting for Ireland to form itself up. And I don't know if it ever is gonna happen, but interesting. Oh, this is Ulster, of course. Seriously, she's going for one county. Alright, well, whatever. <coughs> That's her choice, I say. Well, that is the world. I'm gonna take me a sip of the old tea. I'm not really a tea person. Oh, sorry, hit the mic there. But after this disease, I kind of need to because my throat has been destroyed. Um, this man has 8,000 troops. If I attack him, he will get more because he will be defending against a foreign infidel, which is something to note. So I was wondering, should I do it? But I am going to do it. I believe we can weaken him. I hope we can also win this war. Definitely. Don't get me wrong. But I also hope that he will be weakened as much. That we can do something about this. Um, that we can make his vassals reconsider his newly elected king. So we're going to do that. Moreover, we currently can establish a new trading post. Now... I want to build that in Galicia, because Galicia has a lot of cash, and it will not be a realm that we will be at war with besides independent. That will work nicely. He is being, uh, uh, he is in two separate wars though, so he could be being destroyed, but hopefully this is, um, we can establish it over there and not have to worry about the fact that we will be at war with Andalusia. So Andalusia, 
declare war. I'm gonna go go and clean up some of this border gore and go and go for the holy war for Algiers. Everybody is okay with it. And that means we're going to. I need to be careful here. Why did I all of a sudden do I not have? I had five thousand troops. Oops. I didn't just drop in troops. Um. Hold control to uh, yeah, but shift control. I'm a little leery about calling up everybody because in Snassen is an individual count, and I don't want the individual count to summon his troops in the wrong area, aka being destroyed immediately. So. I think I will manually handle this for a moment. I know there's a button for it, but for some reason it's... N I thought it was control shift. Apparently I have forgotten. Perhaps I need some... Uh, some aid again from my watchers. Just gather this up, army up right now. On the 27th of March. Okay, stop. Now we can summon everybody. Why does that not give me... There we go. Um, here we go. Once again... Well, this will be a bit of a slow thing. As per usual, I need to get the troops in the right place. Which just makes me realize I should have walked over here. Probably summoned the troops of Mali over there. That would have been the better decision. Concubine pregnant, doubt besets me. I'm going to trust her word because we need more children. No, I trust her word. Um. Oh dear, Molly. Excellent. Converted yet another county. This is all West African. I like that. Despite the fact that this is Sunni land, and Sunni shouldn't be too weak of a faith, but... Oh... Well, I don't mind. Alright. Um, No, I don't need your help. Yeah, I will head back to port as soon as you will let me. Darn it, I got scurvy. There are 7,000 army strength. That's fine by me. I have have enough to, to handle that, but it's more like... There we go. Apparently I should... Um, they've... they've eaten. Look, I am about to get rid of scurvy if you would just let me. Thank you. Now, defeating this army will be a great boon to the war, so we should definitely focus on that. But he's still... no, he's moving away. Um, actually, in fact, let's siege in this area. And we should also look, actually, if we can have some mercenaries. Yo, we can have a ton of mercenaries. Uh, can we support all of them? Uh, not all, all of them, but we can support this amount we can support so um, I'm going to Raise some Fleet levies that aren't my own so I don't have to pay for them Otherwise, I will have some issues um, Hold on
After eating plenty of different fruits and vegetables, I finally feel well. The pain is gone and I'm in much better state. I'm sure to avoid scur scurvy if I eat an orange. Uh, door hinge? That's a kind of far-fetched joke, I have to say, Paradox, but alright. Alright. We are not buying your games because we want to be humored. We're buying your games because we love them. And they're about warfare, realms, history, all of it. Um, I definitely need a little bit more boats. Do I? No, I don't. No, 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 no. I'm, uh, I'm misreading that. I have just enough boats. All right, we got ourselves some mercenaries. As we are sieging Algios. Uh, yeah, we don't need you. Thank you. Uh, he's 19 and young peasant girl from one of Canary's outlying farming settlements. He's apparently quite the looker and has agreed to take his hand in marriage. Good for him. I mean, I'm all alone. Um, ooh, quite a looker indeed. A little older, but that's fine. As long as she gives us babies, I'm A-OK -okay with it. Um, by the way, there's a child that needs some tutoring. To each 7,000 men. So we currently have 15,000 uh, at the ready, and he has 9,000. So we definitely outnumber him. <laughs> Uh, a small kitty is demanding your attention. Pat, this is a very rare event, I believe. And I mean a really, really rare event. Allow the kitten to follow you home. Which I'm definitely going to do. Or kick the kitty. Everybody... Well, I'm not sure everybody knows, but most people that... Know my channel a little bit, know that I have two cats. And this is actually a combination of Ares and Nox. Because Ares is totally black. And Nox is a grey-white combination that looks a little bit like this. So I will definitely allow the kitten to follow me home. Hopefully it's not a devil thing. You never know. We have some special events said that they are okay to be there. We uh, captured some boys. Probably a little bit gold worth. And they are. Well, that is good. Yeah, free your brothers. Oh, he has hired some mercenaries as well. Alright, well, let's kick the city and the door in then. Always good to get some more suns. Always good to get some more suns. And he is ready to come down here. Let's organize an expedition. Um, mm, oh. 200 gold. I don't want to hire a band of... Uh, things. Uh, yes, they can go along with me. That can be a disadvantage. Uh, by the way, do I... I don't have a good diplomacy. Oh, shoot. They'll probably ruin this all. To foreign lands. He's coming down here with his entire army. That is uh, good and bad. Oh. My heir died of cancer. Um... This is a bad one. Because there are now two people that are... Three people that are by far better than my heir to be. How old are they? 55? Stressed? He might die. There's a good chance for that. And you are just 62. Which is just old. I'm not going to uh, immediately fret and, and, and say, Oh my dear lord, we're going to die. But uh, that definitely could have gone better. Uh, we will give him a dozen tough warriors. We are going to try and establish a colony over here in the Emirate of Baira. Basra, sorry. Um, please excuse him. He will get a minus 15 towards me. I don't care. 
Um, this army, where are you gonna go? You're gonna go over here. We have the advantage of terrain with us. That's one. Um, this is what type of land? Mountains. So your flat terrain expertise does not help at all. I would be better. No, that was probably my former guy. Who I had a guy that was pretty good in combat. Here, oh, Matar the first. Never you mind. <coughs> um, he's coming after me. I'm okay with that. I'm willing to give up the siege. He will come to me on the 17th of March. Um, 50% chance of getting zealous. Which is a good trait. I will only use that. I gained this illustrate. This will be a profitable agreement. After long hours of negotiating and discussing possible terms of trade, you and Mia Miyazada Wise seem to have arrived to a mutual understanding. A wise man indeed. Money makes the world m move around. I've lost a concubine, apparently. Oh no, I was searching for a concubine, but never found a, a decent one, right? Well, I... Well, you're strong. That's one. You're a little getting old, set the concubine aside. And I'll take another concubine. That will be this concubine, not the one that's ill. And does anyone need a marriage arranged for them? Uh, yes, you need a marriage arranged for yourself. Um... Yes, I know that's a concubine of mine, but let's do it. And... I can take her as a concubine. Oh, kinswoman! <coughs> I think uh, Grand Prince Murat might be a little dirty. Alright, anyone else that needs a wife? Definitely, holy heck. I think I'm going to have to... Uh, Sign all my concubines away. Because getting my males wives is better than me having concubines, I believe. Actually, that's not true, because I have a higher chance probably to get a child with them, but still. Yeah, all my concubines. Going out left and right. Alright, all my concubines gone. Do I have a concubine in prison that's any decent? Well... Decent is not what I would call her, but... We'll take her. And, uh... I just put her aside, but let's take her again. No decent concubine otherwise. The other women we will just keep. After all, we can always sacrifice them. Whoa. With a new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares that will benefit the economy for a long time to come. 500 gold, 150 prestige. Canarius gets trade route for 30 years. Probably until I, or until I die, which is really annoying, but uh, yeah, that's it. Grand Prince Murad Mali gets business contacts, all city vassal pains plus 10, so everybody likes me. I get stewardship plus 2, and a lot of taxes. Okay, that, if I still have... I don't have the ability anymore, of course, because my heir just died. Mmm, that's too bad. Okay, jokey then. Hold on, 16th of March... And I will definitely award him appropriately. Leave that money be. It's fine. Okay. Battle commences. But on the 23rd we put in our extra army. He uh, hasn't... He didn't wait for his mercenaries. Moreover... Uh, we, we got a defeat apparently somewhere. Um... Where are you going? 
Uh, the enemy forces, that is. Mazab. Yes, here then. Okay. Let's fight you over there again. The good thing about this as well is that we are weakening him so much that he, he might have vassals that will get a little bit uppity. Which we don't mind at all. 80% in all favor. We can beat Andalusia. We now have the money, the cash, the wit, the power. Um, yeah. Actually, destroy this army. And Turand prospers. And you're going to... That's fine by me. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Because I would like to, them to get a little closer to one another so I can... Uh, fight both armies a little bit more consistently. You're going to Lamedia as are you. You know what? I'm OK with that. Combine your armies. It will be too weak anyways to handle me. There we go. And it's a very short pass from here to there. They have the advantage of terrain, absolutely. But they have low moral and we have about three times their men. Ninety-eight percent. Are you willing to surrender, good sir? No, you're not. Well, then you're not a good sir. Uh, Andalusia is united right now. This was a bad investment. Uh, I didn't read why. A Catholic uprising. Ooh. How many people do you have? 8,000 men. Well, I might just have you covered there, uh, Catholic uprising. 100%. Um, beat them one more time. We can handle the money issues, and with the Catholic uprising, I hope we can, uh, we might have an, a bit of a chance to, um, well, improve the Catholic uprising chances. That should be fine. The Catholic uprising also needs a few armies to beat if they want to have a chance. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Stand down these levies. Stand down these levies. Hired. Are we going to stand down the hired troops? I don't think so. I think we'll keep them. These mercenaries combined with our... Uh, with our retinue gives us quite a bit of a, a buffer. I think I like that idea. Alright. Here we go. Yet another group of counties awarded to us. And as you can see, by the way, as I once told you, look at my piety. 526, giving away the church now. And I get 25 piety, which is how I managed to uh, obtain enough piety to start that first holy war I did. Along with the fact that I got lucky and a county switched. Um, you're right then. Load filters. Slot one. This is... Uh, which duchy is this? It sounds stupid, but it is true that I'm not even sure. Algiers. Um, which capital would probably be Al Jazeer? I want to say Al Jazeer, but... I don't know if that's properly pronounced, but it's because of Al Jazeera. The... TV network. Um, you may not want to come to my court, but you will accept me giving you this, good sir. There you go. And I will give you some... I want to say good man to rule with you, but I'm going to say some decent man to rule with you, because yowza. Um...
And despite that I won't be able to get the duchy, because um, the one that has it is at war, we won't have a problem with uh, our current uh, amount of vassals, because I gave away Africa and Mali. So, and we are an emperor title, which gives us uh, more as well. Grand Prince, 20 instead of 15, so... Yeah. Oh, good. You know what? I am okay with helping out the little people. That's sometimes what they call the people that weren't that rich. I'm gonna grant you also a bloody grand city, and I will grant you one. A voila! It is done. And all kinds of nice Berbers already here. All Berber, which is what we wanted so badly. Oh, uh, it's unfortunate we couldn't... Uh, that this man... I shouldn't, that he wasn't... He hadn't built a city, then I could have given him the kingdom of um, this area. Because now we have a Monday king, which is not exactly what I wanted. And I'm also known as the Sword of the Ancestors. But it does feel a lot better, doesn't it? Having this area like that. Now it's actually looking at Italy that is the next thing. Attacking in the fifth for Austria. Oh dear, he's going to attack Pannonia. Alright. Um, well, let's go here. Because if we can get this little piece, it would be amazing. Ooh, unfortunately we get stressed. Um, and my my heir to be has cancer. Okay, hold on. Heir to be, you have very little prestige. Can we find someone that can be a designated heir that isn't much younger but has a lot more prestige? Um, and I probably will seek treatment for ailment because the gout is just keeps them going on and on and on. But well, we just obtained ourselves a new holy site, by the way. Don't... We've got it. So... Woohoo! Um, let me see here. That's, of course, the first one we're going to try and convert. To West African faith. We actually got a... This already converted. That's nice. Culture-wise? No. But here's a Berber culture change, so that's good. Yeah, and this will probably not convert very easily now. That's really annoying. Um, we can only be as lucky that perhaps one of these kings at a certain point decides, no, you know what? I'll change my tune and I will turn Berber. There is a chance for that. And I will probably try and raise these children as Berbers. Um, air. Because I'm now also stressed. That means minor titles I want to look at. Designated air. The current air to be is... 47. Um, well, he's much younger. But he has decent overall. This also isn't too bad. I mean, my standards have to be a lot lower when you have such a large family and you don't have much to say about... Wow! You're only 12, thanks to Midas Touched. How about this man, then? Why isn't he my heir to be? He's older than... No, he's a little bit younger. So my heir to be is... 15, 5, 5... 50, sorry, 15, 5, 8, 5, 4. Not 15. Uh, just a little bit... But he's arbitrary, which is really bad. I actually had, like, no really good heirs. To be fairly honest. Ooh. Probably have it in combat, but... Yeah, it's Commander of Mali. Oops. Hmm. He is pretty darn good. Fine, I will name you my designated heir. Now, 
Now the game understands what's going on. How much money can I pump into this? I can barely... I can pump in all my money. And then we would still hold the title. We kind of need this guy to die. And we have a very good chance of that. So I think we're going to do that. And we're still going to uh, put a lot of money in the campaign fund. I will put another 50 in it, but... Uh... Oh, darn it. He, he immediately goes away. The regularity of pay. Look, I need... Dude! That is just a few seconds. The irregularity of pay? You've got to be kidding me. Whatever. So we need to keep an eye on Italy and how much troops they have and how well they are doing. They have way more troops than... Well, a little bit more troops than... Our former opponent. Humble. And boom. Killed. No one knows the weather. And I will celebrate with beer. And that means that that house is dead. Meaning we have a much better chance to win. If we also kill this guy. I like it. And we will seek treatment for my ailment. I feel amazing. Awesome. And we need a core chaplain. And you are to... Change our holy side over. There we go. The good thing about being West African is that there is no um, faith. Hey, they're going to go for it again. Independence revolt. Good luck, my man. Yeah, we definitely weaken it because of what we did to them. And here is the Catholic revolt. How's the Catholic revolt doing? How many men do you have? You're getting your ass beaten. That's too bad. Anyways. Uh, what I was about to say is that West African doesn't have any heresies. And therefore it's much easier for you to control some of these people. Because they won't suddenly change their faith or what have you. Now, the only thing you have is that you have uh, old West African because we reformed it. But also that has been extinguished. So in short, there is no issues regarding that. I like it. But, it is also time to end the episode, even with the panning of the worldview. It, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you actually liked that or not. Uh, or if you thought that that was completely pointless. I want to go get straight into the action. And, uh, because I like feedback. Getting feedback as a content creator is what you almost, I want to say live for, is a little bit perhaps too bold a statement, but it's pretty close to that. Um, and hopefully, in the next round, we can kill this dude and not have to spend 800 bucks so that we can uh, spend some bucks in getting an extra trade post. But right now, I just don't want to give up our, our, our Merchant Republic and I'm a little scared. Though I do have a pet cat as well and I'm brawny. You know what? I'm willing to pay a lot of money to get it done, but the first thing we're going to build is, of course, another trade post. Because our family lives off the trade. So, we'll do that. We have 500 to spend. That also, that we probably need that in order to get buy this chap. So, let's already just put 500 in the campaign fund. That will win us of this guy. We just need to kill Asuru Shakilit. Let us see if we can do it in the next episode. So yeah, thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.